friends can't be replaced. You must love yourself. I hated that man. The How to Train Your Dragon trilogy has earned a special place in the hearts of moviegoers worldwide, with a loyal fan base that adores it. The first film holds an impressive 99% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, while the franchise has grossed over $1.5 billion at the box office for Universal since its debut in 2010. Since its release, there's been talk of a potential live-action adaptation for some time, and fans of the franchise can rejoice as the Vikings and Dragons are officially taking to the skies once again, and this time, it's getting the live-action treatment. So today, we're bringing you everything we know about the upcoming project. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The upcoming live-action adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon will be based on the trilogy of movies that were produced by DreamWorks Animation in the 2010s and were highly praised by both critics and audiences. The first movie received nominations for both Best Animated Film and Best Score at the Academy Awards, while the second and third films also received Best Animated Film nominations. And the trilogy has spawned several television series that aired on Cartoon Network, Netflix, and Hulu. The films were inspired by the books written by Cressida Cowell and focused on the unlikely friendship between a young Viking boy named Hiccup and Toothless, a dragon who befriends and helps nurse back to health. The story followed their quest to overcome prejudice against dragons, deal with the loss of a parent, and experience first love. What made the films unique was how the protagonists aged with each movie, resulting in a genuine coming-of-age story. Exciting news has just dropped in terms of casting for the movie. Mason Thames, who starred in Universal's horror hit The Black Phone, and Nico Parker, the rising actress who was last seen in HBO The Last of Us, are set to star as Hiccup and Astri. 15-year-old Thames gained recognition for appearing in Apple TV Plus's acclaimed drama series, For All Mankind, and later landed the lead role in Black Phone, a film adaptation of Joe Hill's short story directed by Scott Derrickson. The movie, released by Universal in 2022, was a big success, propelling Thames into the spotlight for future teen roles. Currently, the actor has two completed films, Incoming, a coming-of-age party comedy and Boys of Summer, an adventure thriller featuring Mel Gibson. Thames is represented by WME and Brillstein Entertainment. Parker started her acting career as the lead in Tim Burton's live-action adaptation of Dumbo, produced by Disney in 2019. She also appeared in the HBO series The Third Day alongside Jude Law and Naomi Harris, and had a role in Lisa Joy's sci-fi film reminiscence starring Hugh Jackman. In HBO Last of Us, a highly successful series, she played the daughter of a dangerous lone wolf survivor portrayed by Pedro Pascal. The trilogy also featured prominent actors such as Jonah Hill, who played Snotlout, Christopher mintz Plass as Fishlegs, TJ Miller as Toughnut, Kristen Wiig as Ruffnut, and Jared Butler as Hiccup's father, Stoic, who fans would be delighted to see return to the franchise. The original films were written and directed by Dean DeBlois, who also wrote and directed the second and third films in the trilogy. For the live-action remake, Du Bois will make his live-action debut and will be aided by veteran movie and theater producer Mark Platt, known for his work on projects such as Legally Blonde, La La Land, and the upcoming adaptation of Wicked. Platt will produce the film through his production company, Mark Platt Productions, along with Adam Siegel, the president of the company. At this time, there is no official release date for the live-action remake of How to Train Your Dragon. However, rumors suggest that the film may be released in either 2023 or 2024. In terms of plot details for the adaptation, sources suggest that the live-action remake would follow a similar storyline to the original animated movie, but with some changes to the characters and their relationships. It's also possible that the live-action remake could be a reimagining of the original story, rather than a straightforward adaptation. While fans of the original movie may be excited at the prospect of seeing their favorite characters on screen again, a live-action adaptation also presents a number of challenges and concerns. One of the biggest challenges would be bringing the fantastical creatures of the original film to life in a realistic way. The dragons in How to Train Your Dragon are an integral part of the story, and making them believable in a live-action format would require some impressive special effects work. However, there is reason to be optimistic. 
Shows like Game of Thrones have demonstrated that impressive and believable CGI can be achieved on a television budget. If the live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake can replicate a similar level of visual effects, there is a lot of potentials for the film to be a success. Another concern is how the story would be adapted for live-action. The original movie was praised for its emotional depth and character development, and it remains to be seen if those elements would translate as well to a live-action format. Additionally, there is a risk that a live-action remake could feel too derivative of the original, rather than bringing something new to the table. Much like Disney's catalog of live-action remakes over recent years. Despite these challenges, there is no denying the potential appeal of a live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake. But for now, we'll be patiently waiting for more announcements from DreamWorks. And while we wait, we want to know what you're hoping to see from Hiccup and Toothless in live-action. Are you excited? Let us know any and all thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.